Reddit. What became of the least popular kids in your high school? Kid I went to high school with got a restraining order put on him after stalking a couple girls in our class. He said that they were angels sent to him from God. According to his FASA book, he's now a real estate agent and is the prophet of a religion that he started. Not the least popular or the most, but the one who would most likely be voted to get stoned and eat Subway all day now owns a whole bunch of Subways. Not sure if he still gets stoned, but he is rolling in the proverbial dough. There was this kid at my school who was pretty camp, so people called him gay a lot. He hated it. He got called gay several times a day every day for years. When he eventually got a girlfriend, people would say things to her, like you know your boyfriend is gay, right? Which obviously annoyed them both. I looked him up on Facebook yesterday. He's happily dating a man. The prophecy has been fulfilled. The guy from my school was super introvert and acted a little bit strange. I secretly thought that maybe he had some sort of mental problem, like autism or something similar, I never knew for sure. Nevertheless, he was a really nice guy. Sometimes I went to his house on summers to hang out with him, and he always invited me to his birthday parties. Seven years after graduating, he is almost a doctor, he was extremely smart, and has a beautiful girlfriend who is just as shy as him, but equally as nice. I'm really happy for them. One got heavily into drugs. One blossomed and became stunningly attractive. One became very wealthy in tech. For the popular kids. One got heavily into drugs. The hottest girl in school became actively unattractive. The richy rich kid is now bagging groceries. I was one of the only 223 people who was friends with an awkward and unhappy kid in my school. He had terrible family issues. One example, his mother tried to have him committed at age 15 because he didn't want to come live with her after she left their family and he was the only non-Catholic at a Catholic high school which he officially wore as a badge of honor but of course it made him stand out as different. In college he met a nice girl, got to know the Jeek contingent which became a strong circle of friends and became president of his very Jeeky fraternity. He married that girl the day after graduation and moved far away from his family. He now owns a successful bookstore and has two fabulous children and they are all very happy 30 years after he was the least popular kid in school. He was a friend of mine. While I never fit in with any of the cliques in school I got along pretty well with just about anyone. He didn't make many friends or talk to anyone most days. He just seemed withdrawn and a bit odd sometimes. I met him in first grade, and while we weren't best friends we talked quite a bit, hung out once in a while, and had some good times over the years. He was a bit of an outcast through most of school, probably only had one or two other friends besides me. He was ridiculed, called names, and worst he was just downright ignored. After high school he worked a few places finally ending up at the local Walmart. I would still stop and see him, and hang out, when I was home from college. About three years after we graduated his mother passed away from cancer, three months later his father had a heart attack and passed away as well. Understandably for a time, after he lost his parents he just seemed completely off his rails. I honestly thought he was going to self-destruct. He worked through it with some professional help and he was putting his life back together. I spent some time helping him whenever I could and he was healing. A year to almost the day that his mother died he didn't show up for work and didn't call off. Even at his lowest, after he lost his parents he showed up when he was scheduled or at the very least call off. His boss called me because I guess I was the only person left he knew to list as a contact. I left work after I got the call and went to make sure he was okay, make sure he wasn't so sick or something that he couldn't call off work. I found him dead at 10:17 a.m. still in bed. The image of that moment will be burned into my mind forever. I found out later that he passed in his sleep from an undiagnosed condition, something that caused multiple organ failures. He was 22 years old. Godspeed Dave. I hope you found some peace in whatever comes next. It has to be better than the hand you were dealt in this life. There was this super quiet mousy girl named Rachel who, upon graduation, Got a job at Walmart. A 45 year old shelf stoker noticed her and basically made a project out of effing her the moment she turned 18. 
wound up knocking her up basically the first time she had sex with him, and she gives birth to a daughter. Rachel's dad lost his mind when he found out she was pregnant and beat the shit out of the guy and was then charged with assault and now has a criminal record. This was just under 20 years ago and I just heard that Rachel's daughter, who is 18, now, just got impregnated by her 50 year old boyfriend. So, the cycle shall continue. He wasn't massively unpopular as such, I think most people liked him fine, but he was pretty quiet and kind of didn't really register with most people. He was just invisible rather than disliked. I remember once, when we were about 15 he invited me to a party at his house. I didn't really know him that well, but as a few of my other friends were going I accepted. However, when I got there on the day he told me that everyone else cancelled, and it was just going to be the two of us. Okay, slightly annoying, but let's just play some computer games, or whatever. Within minutes of my arrival, he had a screaming match with his mother, who then left for the evening. I feel like maybe he hadn't really told her that I was going to be there, and I barely even knew this kid, so it was very tense and awkward. The house was horrible too, very messy and gloomy. I just wanted to fake an emergency and get my mum to pick me up right away, but I felt a bit sorry for him, so I decided to stick it out. At one point, I went to the bathroom, and when I came out he had turned out all of the lights in the house, which was now plunged into total darkness. I was trying to feel and fumble my way around an unfamiliar space, but didn't know where anything was, and it was so dark, he lived in the countryside, that my eyes didn't adjust. Then I heard him sneaking around the house, kind of brushing past me, and giggling every now and then but not responding to my, increasingly terrified, calls. I kept bumping into things, and didn't know where the light switches were. This went on for a few minutes and my heart was racing. So it had gone from an awkward evening to a fairly disturbing one within 30 minutes of my arrival. Eventually, he turned the lights back on, and was like lol, wanna help me build a computer? I obviously didn't, but it seemed like an activity which would involve the lights being on and him not scuttling around the house like a serial killer, so I was all for it. I remember him dropping an important piece, which shattered, and him getting really angry at himself, while I just sat there desperately hoping he wasn't going to turn to the darkness again. I was trying to offer encouragement like hey, do you know what I think would help? Keeping the lights on and being normal. Anyway, I'm in my 30s now, and I found out a few years ago that he killed himself in that house shortly after we finished school. Someone told me he dad has also hung himself in that house, although I can't be 100% sure that's true. He obviously had deeper issues than I realized, but being a selfish teenager I didn't make the connection at the time. There was this guy who I was in middle and high school with who was picked on mercilessly. He had a rough home life, and was a little weird, and had no social skills, but he didn't deceive the amount of bullying he got. I won't pretend I was completely innocent of the bullying either, though sometimes when it got too far I stood up for him, we were both banned jeeks so, even though he drove me crazy he was still a part of my social circle and someone I looked out for. I really do wish I had been nicer to him. Some of the teachers even bullied him. Our middle school band teacher was merciless toward him, and I think that is why so many people thought it was okay to bully him. At prom he brought this drop dead gorgeous girl from another school and the bullying still didn't stop. People asked her why she came with him and told her to leave him for them. She was really sweet to him, though. He goes off to college and his life college. Only one person at our school goes there, a girl who was always nice to him. He gets a whole new set of friends and meets all these people who live him. He becomes point very popular. I haven't spoken to him in a few years, but his life seemed pretty good. He seemed happy. I'm glad. His girlfriend distributed his nudes in high school. The kid had a hard time. After high school he became a plumber and everyone kind of forgot. Fixed my pipes. Looks like brand new. So I'd say 10 tenths, because I haven't had a problem ever since. Everyone was afraid of this guy, except me. I actually worked up the courage to talk to him, and it turned out he was surprisingly normal. He was a very big kid and looked older, and also just looked very mean. I got to know him a bit, and he was actually pretty friendly. If I was around him or I would've been friends with him too. 
I'm not sure if something happened before I knew him or what. Normally there would be stories about someone if that were the case. I never heard anything bad about him, but people were really scared of him. I felt really sorry for him because he was this big friendly giant and everyone else was too intimidated to give him a chance. Turns out they were right. A few years after high school, he murdered his mother. I kind of wonder if she was very manipulative or was horrible to him or something. He was very aware of how big and strong he was, so he always went out of his way to gentle and nice. Still though, the whole thing was very disturbing to read about. Thanks for watching. Slap that subscribe button for me please.